Hello, everybody. Um, if you hear a noise, it's my cat. She's sitting in my lap and she's purring. <laughs> um, I basically want to get on today to um, share the gospel. I don't know who is going to hear this. Um, a lot of you that that are um, subscribed to my channel, you already know the Lord Jesus. He's already your Savior. Um, so if you know of anyone who needs to hear the gospel, I mean, I don't know. I just pray that this will be um, heard by people who need to hear it and that I will say what needs to be said. Uh, first of all, the gospel is very simple. You know, this is a time of year where People celebrate Christmas. Um, I'd say most of the world doesn't have a clue as to what it is. I know when I lived in China, uh, yeah, they put out Christmas trees. <laughs> and we all know how the Chinese government, what they what they think about Jesus. Um, and I used to say that, I used to think that whenever Christmas time came and they play Christmas carols in the stores, and uh, many celebrities have made Christmas albums, and, you know, they do it for the money. They do it because people will buy the album, but when they sing those songs that are about Jesus, most of the Christmas carols about Jesus make the gospel very plain and simple. I mean, it speaks of why Jesus came. If you read all the, if you read all the lyrics to all the songs, they, it's very clear as to why Jesus came. You know, um, for people who really don't know what or why Jesus came or who it is, they, they tend to think of it as just something about religion. People that are very religious, they go to church and they talk about, you know, whatever. Jesus did not come to give us another religion um, to believe on Jesus has nothing to do with religion. Um, there are many religions in the world, and religion is, you know, everybody's religious. You can be religious about football. You can be religious about your car. You can be religious about fashion. Uh, basically means, you know, what you, you know, I don't know. You just, it's what you spend your mind with, I guess. But Jesus came because humanity was in trouble. When God first made man and made the earth, it says that he is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Um, he made it perfect. Man was perfect. and But he gave man a free will. He didn't want robots. And he told, that, he told Adam and Eve there was only one tree from the garden that they couldn't eat from. Because he wanted man to have a choice. Well, Satan came in and tempted, of course. And you know, many of you know the story, whether or not you believe it or not. But um, Satan tempted them with being like God. He mixed truth with a lie. You'll be like God, knowing good and evil. And, you know, the fruit, the, the fruit looked good. We don't know what kind of fruit it was. We say apple, but it doesn't say it was an apple. It just said it was a fruit that looked very nice and um, is good for food. Didn't say there's anything poisonous about it. It's just that God said not to eat it. So Eve ate some, and, well, she gave some to Adam, who was with her, and he ate. Well, then, of course, yeah, their eyes were opened. They did know good and evil. <laughs> but they fell. They tried to hide they tried to they realized they were naked because god had made them perfect they were innocent they had no concept of that they tried to cover themselves and make clothing for themselves with fig leaves but god killed an animal he shed blood and he covered them with skins himself he clothed them and that's what really clothed them but he had to put them out of the garden of eden because the tree of life was there, and if they'd eaten from the tree of life, they would have been stuck in that sinful state forever, alive. So in his mercy, he drove them from the garden, and he gave them a promise 
that, you know, um, he put enmity between the seed of the woman and the serpent. And then he said that that seed of the woman would be bruised, his, his heel would be bruised by the serpent, but he would crush the Satan, the, the serpent's head. And that was the first um, mention of the gospel in the Bible, because when Jesus came from the seed of a woman, he was born of a virgin. And this was important because there was no taint of the first race of man, which is Adam. There was no sin in him. God, the Holy Spirit came upon Mary and she conceived and uh, there was no human man who was the father of Jesus. So he was perfect. And he had to come as a man because he had to die for man. He had to pay the price of sin for man. God had to come as a man. He had It had to be a perfect sacrifice. God showed that through the Jews throughout history. It was a picture. Of the, the sacrificial system was a picture. And even in pagan religions, there's been corruption of that, you know, sacrifice. Um, so Jesus came as a baby, born just like we are, came as a human being, fully God and fully man. And when he was eight days old, he was uh, Mary and Joseph took him to the temple to be circumcised. And there was an old man there named Simeon, who God had, had told him that he would not die until he saw the Messiah. And Simeon had been there at the temple all these years, and, and the Lord pointed out that baby, that little baby, eight-day-old eight baby, and, and showed him that he was the Messiah. So when Simeon, he asked if he could hold him, and he said to the Lord, he said, Now thy servant shall depart in peace, because my eyes have seen thy salvation. Jesus means the Lord is Savior, the Lord, the salvation. That's what the word Yeshua, or we say in English, Jesus means. Now, why did he say salvation, though? What, what do you have to be saved from? I mean, well, as I said, when God first created man, man was, you know, perfect. There was no, there was no sin, and sin means to simply fall short of what God says is perfect. Um, it doesn't have to be just a little bit, but it's still falling short. And most of us, we can't say it's a little bit. We fall short a whole lot. If you know, you know yourself, everyone says, I'm not perfect, I'm just human. Yeah, true. But God demands perfection. That only holiness can be before him. But he also loves us. And he didn't want us to be separated from him forever. And so he promised. And he promised uh, back, way back in the Old Testament, way back when. And he kept reviewing that promise through the ears, through the sacrificial system, through the laws that the Jews, that he gave the Jews. It was not that they could keep the law. I mean, they tried. But it was only to show them that they needed a savior. They could not be perfected and they had to sacrifice every day i mean can you imagine the the smell of the smoke must have been in jerusalem constantly because they're always burning a sacrifice and in passover they would bring a perfect lamb every family everybody would bring the lamb a perfect lamb to sacrifice and they'd eat the passover and there's a whole story to that too but Jesus came as the perfect lamb, our sacrifice, because he came as a human being. And he took our place because God demanded perfection. I mean, he has to. He's a holy God. He's perfect. So when Jesus came, he came not to just be a nice, cute little baby. That's what the world celebrates. You know, everybody can sing about our little baby. But they stopped there. He grew up as a man. And he died a gruesome death for us. That little baby grew up as a man, to be a man. And was nailed to a cross. 
nailed with spikes are about oh six to eight inches long roman spikes in his wrist where the where it could hold it you know if he, it was right in the middle of his hand it, he would have just bought, ripped off the cross but it was made to hold him on there the romans were very uh, practical people and crucifixion was not meant to be a quick death it was meant to be a torturous death a slow death and it even says in the Old Testament how he would die. It talks about his, his hands and feet being pierced and his himself being, you know, beaten for us beyond recognition. You can read in Isaiah chapter 53, talks about that. So when Jesus died, that wasn't it. And the last thing he said before he died was, it is finished. That means he was saying, it is finished. I have completed. It's paid in full. That's what he meant. The sin debt was paid in full. Your past, your present, and your future sins. Because, you know, when Jesus died on the cross, all of our sins were future from our point of view. He paid, it says in 1 John, that he didn't pay just for the sins, of not for ours only, we believers, but for the sins of the whole world the sin of the whole world. He paid the price for all the sin. So what do we do about it? All you have to do is believe on him. Believe what he's done for you. It's as simple as that. He doesn't tell you to do anything, to pay anything, to, because you can't. He's paid it. Believe on him. And guys, time is short. He's going to return. Not only... Did Jesus die and was buried and rose again? But he's coming back. And the and what he has said in, his, in the word of what he said would happen before he returned, it's all happening right now, everybody. The mark is getting devised. The mark isn't here yet, but it is being, it is being developed. Um, but I don't want to go all into that. I'm just appealing to any of you who have not trusted Jesus as your Savior. You haven't repented, which means turn to Him to save you. That's all. To believe on Him. That's all you have to do. And I'm just appealing to you to do it now. Time is short. There's going to come a time it will be the worst time the world has ever seen. It will be unimaginable. And your only hope is to believe on Jesus um, he will rescue his bride. And those left, those that turn to him, you know, during this time we call the tribulation, it's a horrible, horrible time. Yes, you can be saved during that time, but you will be killed more than likely, Be you know. So I appeal to you, if you've not turned to him in repentance and believed on Jesus, to please, please do it now. That'll be the best Christmas present you could ever give yourself. <laughs> and he's already given it. It's his gift to you. Just take it. It's his gift. 